Hi Priscilla, it's Ray Cassidy here again. Um, just sort of following up our little chat the other day after the, uh, the sort of bulk of the course was finished. Okay, so the the one thing we noticed was that it was hosted on WordPress.com, so it, you you haven't got your own sort of um, your own domain really. You're part of a bigger website, which can be helpful in some respects. Okay, so if you remember, if we get rid of the get rid of that URL from the title tag, uh, scrunch this down to about 55, 60, 65, something, something of that ilk, number of characters, unique beauty boutique Brampton is perfect. Uh, you could have the address, but I would probably prefer to see the services, the two, the, the two services that you, you know, that are your main bread and butter or the stuff you're really promoting. Again, same comments about name and address and uh, getting the keywords in there. But remember, you've got about 160 characters to play with. This is fine. Don't worry about that. There's a couple of tiny little search engines that will take notice. Um, if you can find a way of getting one of the H1s to be an H2 and for for them to be much more keyword rich or much more informative um, headings. Uh, that would be that would be good and better experience for visitors um, robots XML sitemaps you've got the English if you can get that changed to en dash GB the English GB tag that's you know another tiny little tweak up and if you can get Google Analytics installed uh, on my website I think no, I haven't yet done a tutorial video about installing it. So that's one of the things I'll make a note of to do now uh, to get the um, get the analytics installed. Video. My pen's not writing, but there you go. Okay, having a look. Did it? Did it? Did he? Fav icon. You've got WordPress.com's fav icon. So be nice to do a, a unique beauty boutique fav icon. Uh, just do a nice, nice big square picture that's very simple. Um, what have you got? You could possibly, yeah, it's things are an awkward shape, but you could possibly do something with the, with that chunk of graphic there, because um, I'm suspecting that is a picture, isn't it? rather than text yet yeah, is an image based one um, okay so this is all good having your phone number and your address there and the contact well I'm sure you'll get a fair bit of spam coming your way because it's um, just a plain simple email address there um, yeah a little bit lacking in information and visual sort of clout I don't see any alt text coming up. Uh, let's have a look. Save image, inspect element, let's have a look. Have a unique Valentine's Day. Yep, sounds good, but now that Valentine's gone it would probably be a good idea to have it hoofed off and have something Eastery up there now. Uh, ah, you've got alt text is Val Banner, which is okay, but Valentine's Banner, Valentine's Day Banner, Valentine's Day unique salon offer. Get the lady roses might be better. The file name there that looks like it valbanner.jpg. Use use the full word. I know it's a, a pain in the bum to type everything out the longhand way, but if you use the keywords within the within the title without spamming. 200 of them into a, into a picture title then it gives Google a good idea of what the page is about and if we look deeper into the website uh, let's look at products this time okay right okay this could be this products what kind of products are they if you give a little bit more meat on that title that heading as well 
that would be useful to people and search engines if they landed on that page from a different search other than finding it in your menu uh... the arc products okay natural ingredients no, yeah Come beef this up give it a bit more give it a bit more meat tell, tell us more about that stuff a little video there uh, a little video and text and some alt text behind these images that says a bit more about arc and what their specialties are so alt there the alt is a, a load of numbers so that's not helping you at all that is clearly the product file name that um, the supplier sent you so unless there's a copyright reason for not doing it give that a name that describes the picture that the people will see and that tells Google what that picture is about and that would help in you know in small measure but all of these little small measures added together can make your website much more powerful even without a redesign okay yeah it's it is just lacking in information there's no substance to it at all so that's that's the big thing there just isn't enough information for search engines or people to really get to grips with it treatments again so brief and so you know sort of reiterating really what I said the other day I think 15 15.0 15 is that a, a time or is it a, a price uh, you know you to, to get this the website to to sort of really do the job for you it would be good to you know get in there and have a really serious look at developing pages for all these different types of products even if you just do one page per treatment category one page per product category in the first instance you know it's not for for you know your your sort of situation a uh, small shop fairly busy when people are coming in um, this is something you can do on your own even without a big major redesign because um, you know budgets are important okay let's have a look what happens if we look for your name actually no that isn't that's before we go there uh, the diagnosis bit for the home page we, oh we did have a look at that so that's okay um, so let's have a look because if you remember there was this inconsistency in the name unique beauty boutique Brampton beauty boutique Brampton ah, this is the Ontario now if we go to the search tools in Google uh, that is a United Kingdom search uh, let's make sure ah look it's pulling results from any country so let's make sure it's just the UK and see if we're any better now so so you're showing up on LinkedIn that's good the website Brampton online so that'd be a good directory listing to be in so it's a Facebook page um, and I'm, I'm not seeing you but I'm guessing you'll be in there somewhere and haven't got time to plow through properly just now but uh, that would be worth pursuing see if you're actually still mentioned in there or post something up on there again make yourself relevant to the place you're trying to get people to come um, Brampton Big Mag Treatments Unique Beauty Boutique Wedding Makeup Brampton Unique Unique Boutique Beauty there's the name in a different way round so this is instilling a sense of distrust or possibly there's two businesses that are chasing the same market would be the thinking that the Google uh, creatures are putting on this let's have a look at your yell.com listing so beauty oh so this is Brampton near Barnsley that's come up so even though we're pretty clear where we're up here in Cumbria um, 
it's the Barnsley lot, the Barnsley Brampton that looks more relevant. So you've you've actually got quite an easy thing to do. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Um, it's I'll have to stop now.